we call this sengol in Tamil. Here the sengol means a glorious. Kol obviously means the measure, the rule. So we have a beautiful term. This comes to us right from Sangam literature, what we call sengol. And in the Indian languages, the Bharata languages, we call it as Dharma Danda. And this has been coming to us right from, right through the millennia. That's the beauty of it. And this signifies the Dharma. We normally tend to say, oh, Danda means punishment. But Danda actually is a measuring stick or a like a yardstick. And typically is used to measure anything, a distance or a land and so on. So, what is this Dharma Danda actually denoting? So, a Danda, since it's measuring, it's a measure of the extent of a land, a nation, a civilization, a governed entity, the governed area. How do you showcase it? I mean, other than writing its extent in paper, but if I were to show it to somebody and say, this is my land, how do I show it? I show it in the form of this Danda.